Uh, hey everybody, uh, Mo here. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing the Genuine HP touchpad case. Um, for those lucky enough to catch one on the fire sale, uh, congratulations to you. Um, for those who spent the $600 for them, I'm very sorry that you spent that and they went on sale. But um, moving on beyond that, um, let's start off with the construction of the actual case. Um, here's the box, by the way. Um, similar to you guys' touchpad. But here is the actual case. Um, move this a little back so you can see it a little better. Um, it very much resembles the iPad's uh, kind of little magnetic uh, case for those familiar with the iPad. Um, um, starting with, uh, the, there's a little tiny HP logo in the front right here. Um, it is a uh, tri- fold case which means it has two stands low and high and I'll tell you in a minute when I insert the touchpad in it it's made of a very high quality like rubberish from the outside and kind of a fabric on the inside um, it will protect the entire back of your touchpad right there if you can see um, there's a hole in the bottom for the USB charging port and what I love my favorite thing about this touchpad is they actually put, oh, let's hope that I can catch that. They actually put little volume, um, like it kind of sticks out here. It's not a hole inside, so you can touch the actual things with the touchpad. No, it actually presses against the, the buttons to, you know, make it a little less tacky and also gives you more control. Like it's, it's rubber here on the outside, so you have a lot more control over the volume button, as the same goes for the on button or the, the lock button right here. And there's, of the course, the hole for headphones, which passes most uh, headphone jacks. Um, I've never had a problem with any of my headphones. Um, now, moving in to how... Let's see. Okay, moving in to actually fitting the actual touchpad. So, here you'll have your actual touchpad, right here. Just so people can believe me, it's a touchpad and not an iPad. There's the HP logo, shiny. Um, I usually just kind of... Let's see if I can see it. Wedge it in, um, um, you know, just kind of take it from the top to the bottom. See how it aligns there. And then it kind of just uh, snaps into place right here. Boom. And then I go on the other side, and I also just kind of press in there, and then uh, just kind of lay it back on its back and push there, there, and there you go. It's in. Um, let me actually pick it up to show you how secure it is. Um, let's see here. There, see? I can actually pick it up. No problem right here. I wouldn't recommend doing this, but I'm just kind of showing a point right here. Um, and then, there you go. It's in its little little home. Um, don't worry, this is just dirt right here. If you're wondering about those scratches, no, it's just a little bit of dust. Um, now onward to cool things about this. Um, when you open it this way, and then you take the back of it again. Just more dirt. Don't worry, guys. It's very durable. You, this kind is kind of a little Velcro tab. Now you flip the top. See the top. I hope you guys can see it. And then you kind of tuck it in here. And then this Velcro kind of attaches itself here. And then. It kind of sits this way, so you have a kind of a little laptop sort of feel to the touchpad. See that? At, at an angle right here. So if you kind of want to work on it with a little bit of elevation, neat. And then, and then there's also the other neat thing, the two-in-one design, is you just kind of take it up a little bit. And then you can convert it into a higher standing uh, device. See? Right there. It's now a little higher, kind of like a picture frame. Um, so, if you just kind of want to watch a movie or something, this case supports it. Um, it's pretty solid, you know. No, not a problem here. Now, one con I did find about this case is... I, I mean, that little Velcro piece right back here... I'm not a, you know, not a big fan of it. Um, doesn't bother me too much, but over time I feel like this might wear out. And especially with HP not supporting these things anymore. With this particular case, I'm not sure if I can find it again. At least for the price I did. I mean, 
I got this for like $18 on Amazon, HP's website had it for 20 and I think it was like for 16 the other week, of course. Um, and also, um, those are familiar with the iPad cases. This actual, uh, here, this actual piece right here is, was magnetic on the iPad. It is not here. This is not magnetic, so it kind of freely moves a little bit, but overall it, you know, protects it. I mean, for 15 bucks, <laughs> fantastic case for 40. I'll double think it a little bit and look at my aftermarket options. But for those wanting to protect your new touchpad and um, investment, this is my favorite case I played with on the market. Um, genuine little HP logo right there is classy. Um, so other than that, I mean, there's nothing else I can say about this case other than it's it's great. I mean, it also folds back, so you can't can almost even tell there's a case there. And you know, of course, my favorite's the protection and the kind of grippiness it gives it. Um, this is just dust here, guys, so if you're wondering about the wear, don't worry about that. It's, it's just a little bit dusty. Um, so that's the, uh, HP, um, touchpad case for ya. Um, if you guys have any questions, as always, please comment, and thanks for watching my video, and you guys have a nice one.